Our righteous predecessors, before they leave and depart from one another, they used to tell each other three statements. Even when they send a message to one another from across the countries, they used to end the message with these three statements. If we apply it, wallahi, you will be successful in the dunya and the akhirah. Let's take them one by one. Whomsoever fix his secret private affairs, Allah will fix his external affairs. Whomsoever focus on himself when he's alone in privacy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fix his external. Unfortunately, many of us focus on the external. How big is the beard? How short is the thawb? What people think about me? But it is the other way around. Focus on the actions of the heart. Automatically, the outside will be fixed. If you notice the seven people under the shade of Allah, at least three of them, they got that honor of being under the shade of Allah when there's no shade except his shade because their behavior when they are alone is unbelievable. The first one, he gave charity. Look how secretive. His left hand does not know what his right hand gave. And the second, he was alone with the woman that was so gorgeous gorgeous and with the highest status and she told him fear Allah and he immediately stopped. He left that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was one second decision when he was alone. And the third one, Rasul said that a man was alone at night and he remembered Allah and his eyes start weeping alone. That's the secret word. You want to know who you are. How strong is your Iman? What is your status with Allah? Check your actions when you're alone. How do you behave when the parents are away? When the wife is away? What do you do when you are in a vacation and nobody knows you? How do you act? This is you. So the first, fix your inside. Allah will fix the outside. Second, fix what's between you and Allah. Allah will fix what's between you and mankind. You have problems at home, you have problems at work, you have problems in your life, you have problems everywhere. Fix your relationship with Allah. Allah will fix your relationship with everybody around you. What does it mean, fix your relationship with Allah? Fix your salat. Concentrate, focus as much as you can. Fix your siyam, fix your zakat. Stay away from what Allah has prohibited. You want Allah to fix your relationship with your mother, with your son, with your daughter? Stay away from what he does not like. There's a huge difference between slipping into a sin, falling into a sin, and planning for a sin. We all slip. Astaghfirullah, I made a mistake. I sneaked a look. There's a difference between somebody passing by the gambling machine and he put a dollar and he made a istighfar and a guy who's sitting down in Dallas planning his trip to Vegas and when he's going to do this and when he's going to do that. There's a huge difference between both. So stay away from what Allah has prohibited. Allah will fix your relationship with others. And the last one, make the akhirah your main concern. Allah will take care of all your dunya concerns. As a matter of fact, the last statement is very similar to a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. There's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Whomsoever make the akhirah his main concern, Allah will take care of all his concerns. Very similar. So what does it mean make the akhirah your main concern? Before I make any move, before I make any decisions, before I utter any statement, is it pleasing to Allah? Yes. Bismillah. Is that job pleasing to Allah? Even if it's paying $500,000 a year, wallahi, if it's not pleasing to Allah, Allah, refuse it. That was just a test sent your way to see how you're going to react. That sale that you were tempted to make and you know it's haram. But the shaitan came and said, you give half of it to the masjid as if Allah needs our money. Inna Allah tayyib, la yaqbal illa tayyib. Allah is pure and he only accepts what's pure. The shaitan whispered, give half of it to the masjid and you feel good. He came and tempted you. Make the akhirah your main concern. Is this major I'm majoring in in college? That jobs that it provides are they pleasing to Allah because you don't know how many people they were not very religious and they went to school and then during the school they became very religious already put invested three four years in haram major and then ah oh, subhanallah what am I, do, Sheikh? I already invested three four years in this major and I just found out that all the jobs from this major are haram quit wallahi Allah will replace you Allah will give you something better because you left something only for his sake any statement before I say it is it pleasing to Allah Allah, Bismillah. We throw statements and we do not know how damaging they are. So how often does your uh, son visit you? Ah, Khalid, that's it? Ah, Assalamu alaikum. He threw a bomb 
he made the brother think, ah, oh, subhanAllah, that's it? My son visits me once a month and his son visits him two, three times a week. He calls his son, he fights with him. So how much money do you make? That's it? I don't know what kind of boss do you have. He goes to the mother-in-law. So how often does she invite you over? Allah, once every two weeks. That's it? My daughter-in-law, every day. You just threw a poisoned arrow at someone and you ruined someone's life without even you noticing. Or maybe you are noticing. Many people, unfortunately, they love to see others down so they feel better. Wallahi, this is a disease. Make the akhirah your concern. All I'm concerned is the pleasure of Allah. Allah will take care of all my dunya concerns. Subhanallah. I will end with this. If I ask you right now, what is your main concern? How many of us will say, I'm so concerned whether that salat I just prayed was accepted or not? I don't know. I'm going to the hellfire. I'm going to Jannah. Very concerned, Ya Sheikh. I'm very concerned that the Hajj just came with. Was it accepted or was it not? I'm very concerned. Is my mother pleased with me? Did my father die and he was pleased with me? This is when the Akhirah is my main concern. If we put all these three together, fix your secret, Allah will fix your outside. Fix your relationship with Allah, Allah will fix your relationship with others. And third, make the Akhirah your main concern. Allah will take care of all your dunya concerns. May Allah make us from the people who listen and apply. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our last deeds our best deeds and our last words. La ilaha illallah.